Good morning guys. Today is May 18, 2020 and it's been approximately uh, three months since I seeded my sycamores and uh, a little update today. Um, all the seedlings, uh, they were right here and uh, I have a whole bunch of squirrels in this yard. They were starting to tear those apart so I've moved them inside this uh, planter bed here and uh, normally I tie these, these together but I harvested some spinach so I decided to open this up and make this video here but here's the ones that were teeny tiny uh, a few months ago and I believe I've uh, you can check out my previous videos but uh, some of these are thriving really good and uh, they have gotten quite large actually uh, probably uh, uh, four inches tall I would say and uh, they start to grow really slow, but once they have a few leaves, uh, man, these things are just growing fast. I want to give you guys a tip uh, from what I've seen here. Now, uh, when these seedlings are really young, you want to keep them in shade as much as possible. Partial shade, I want to say. So you want to let some sunlight through, maybe during the morning. And uh, the evening sun is really uh, hot, so uh, maybe a spot that uh, gets less evening sun, more morning sun. But uh, I had them under the tree here. Um, so that gets a lot of morning sun like so right now um, So one thing you'll see when the Sun is too much is uh, some of these you know You'll see them starting to turn purple and brown. It's not gonna kill them But uh, it's just an indication that there is probably too much Sun and you should probably move move them to a spot. That's uh, You know more shaded, but as they are as they get a little bit larger They can take more Sun with, and not turn brown so uh, that's just a little tip from me It's not gonna kill them, but uh, when they're real little it might stress them out the fun thing is uh, This planter bed here. This was open back in February. So it has a whole bunch of Volunteer trees that uh, you know just took off, you know, it's crazy. There's like uh, at least a dozen of them here so I'm gonna just let those grow and uh, you know take off on this planter bed, but uh, these are some some of the younger ones that uh, had taken off probably mid March, so they're about two months old. Uh, but some of the larger ones are close to three months here. So I'm I'm I can't wait to see what will happen to these uh, come fall. Uh, they'll probably close to a foot tall. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these seedlings here. But uh, just uh, here's my update. Um, after a few weeks, 